Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and today I'm here with you for my fifth official of Pleta yarn haul video. Pleta is um, a Bulgarian company that both produces their own yarns under the Stanley brand but they also import other brands which they sell on and I ordered a bunch of Patea yarns from a Pleta Yarns this time around because they had a nice discount voucher for these so I could get like 12% off the yarns which is already I do think even on the standard price seems like a decent priced yarn but I've never really felt them in my hand so I thought it was a prime opportunity to get some of these yarns. But as you know, as always, we cannot talk yarn without me having my faithful mug of tea here with me, which today is a general black tea blend, but it has a flavor of coconut. So for me, this is a new tea and it does indeed taste a bit of coconut. I have to say that. Hmm. It has this mild coconut taste. So I'm just putting it a bit forward here because... The other thing is, this fifth yarn order from Pletter, I thought that I would get a smaller crate from them um, because I did not have the idea that I ordered like a lot of yarns. I did order plenty of balls, but it wasn't like big cakes or the like. I do have a few cakes in there, but like I did not have the idea it was massive. But then I already taken the liberty to actually unwrap some of the plastic of this bag because they completely black foiled the box on top. And when you see the box here in a second, you will understand why they did so. And I think I even have to get up and stand to actually move this box around because it is huge. Like I have no clue that I ordered this much yarn, but here we go. So this huge box, and this is still on my table, by the way. So I'm going to see if I can tilt it up. As you can see, it's pretty huge and it does take me some energy to actually even hold it. And on top, it's kind of like, so you understand when you see the top of this and how it's wrapped up, you understand why they have to plastic wrap this one. Because if you look here on the sides, this is normally the top flap that will go in, but they force bend it up here. So as you can see, they kind of fill this to the brim plus some and added cardboard boxes on the top. And from there, from there, they then um, wrapped it with the plastic. So I think they just don't have a bigger box on this. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but I was a bit surprised. I guess maybe they could have sent two boxes instead. But of course, that's not gonna be more expensive and still me, I'm being like, did I really order this much yarn? Um, but the thing is, a pleta for us in Europe, they have, um, like if you if I order for more than 150 euros of yarn, which is like a lot of money, I get that, um, I get free shipping. And why wouldn't I option for free shipping if I could get it? So I actually, Mainly bought the Papatia yarns and then I got, I think it was like three cakes more. Let me check just a minute because I have the order in front of me. Yeah, and I got only Papatia yarns from the Papatia brand. So that's like different types of yarns that we're going to look into very soon. Plus I got three cakes from the Yarn Art Flowers. Um, you all know how gorgeous they are. And now I need to watch for a minute so that I don't cut my own fingers. When I'm trying to get the tape off, I, I've seen many crazy wrappings of yarns before, but this has to be a semi first. Lots of tapes around. Oh, they did this as well. Just a moment. I'm sorry for being partially out of the camera. And I even remember here, I even already handled some of it. Like, I already removed the worst. I already removed the worst. So I got two cardboard boxes on the top 
I'm just like quickly looking into this, it's going to be a pure joy of wrapping out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this camera around and I'm going to give you a quick tour of how this box is filled to the brim and then I'm going to show you them one by one. Really, you can see how full this box is. It has cakes, regular yarns, and it's just like, it goes on and on and on. Lots of lovely colors this time around. And I am obviously looking forward to show them all to you. So let's get to showing you these yarns up close and talk a bit about them. I'm sorry if you could not hear very well what I just said. I realized I was kind of holding my hand in front of the microphone. I'm very, very sorry, but um, still, I hope you enjoyed this short, quick sneak peek of, um, of this box because it's huge. And it, it's, really, it's really a really colorful box what I have this time around. There is like zero doubts. It's colorful, very, very colorful. Um, and normally um, I would take them one by one and do the specs one by one. But the problem is when I'm looking into this box, I can see they have just been packed how it fits easy in, in everything. So it's just like all random uh, smaller bags where they have added the yarns into and then um, you know, it's, it's just mix them up. It's not like it's all kept within the same category. So um, um, we might have to go through specs a few times here. Um, but that's all right. I have an overview of what I bought. So I have an idea of what we are to expect. And let's talk about the first yarn here, which is the Papatia Joyful. This is this lovely variegated blue yarn. It's 100 grams, and for these 100 grams, you get 200 meters of lovely yarn. So we are talking like, probably like a four weight, three weight, four weight year. Um, to talk a bit about the specs here from this Papatia yarn is that it's 20% wool and 80% acrylic. It can be washed at 30 degrees. Um, they do recommend lay flat to dry, so don't tumble dry or don't iron. Don't do any crazy stuff. They recommend a five millimeter crochet hook for this yarn um, and three to four millimeter knitting needles. It's a colorway three. They don't have color names, unfortunately, though this is like, this would be like some sort of blue ocean or something like that, right? Because it has all these various ocean colors, regardless if you're out deep or in a more shallow ocean. I can imagine this being called like ocean, but it's just me. It's called Joyful. So that's a brand of Papatia. It's made in Turkey. Um, and it does nicely say actually here, it's produced by Kamgarn, which is um, in Turkey. So I learned something here. And uh, yeah, they also have used it for making like a throw. Um, I, I, I enjoy this color quite a lot. I picked it up because my idea, let's see. Yeah, I only got one skein of this, but the idea for me was to basically say, lovely yarn, I want to make a hat from it. Um, and I wanted to get a few colors of the different um, of the different types because it's. I think it's nice to compare. So I like this blue. Then I got four skeins of a yarn called Papatia Angora. And these skeins are actually pretty big for, and that's probably also why I'm not being able to judge how much yarn I got. Um, this is their Angora yarn. Try see these lovely soft neon rainbow or uh, pastel rainbow. Sorry, that was the right word. Pastel rainbow colors in this bowl. And I would say this is a ball, um, even though it's kind of donut shaped, it's too thick to be a donut. It seems more like a ball, but it could be a donut. It could be a ball. I don't know what you think it is. Um, but yeah, here we have Papatia Angora and it's made with merino wool. And <clears throat> it actually doesn't contain Angora, even though it, it's named Angora. Um, this ball is 100 grams. 
And for these 100 grams, I get 550 meters of yarn. Very important. Um, so it is a thin yarn. So this is like, like lace weight, sport weight yarn. Um, and it's 80% acrylic and 20% merino wool. Um, it's the colorway 11. I got four of these balls. So I have plenty of yarn actually, more than enough for, for a project, even though um, I bought the last four balls they had in the store and I actually wanted two more because I have this idea for a shirt. I think it could be an amazing sweater. Um, <clears throat> and it can be washed in the washing machine at 30 degrees. You can even iron it, lay flat to dry, don't tell to dry, don't bleach, don't do any other crazy stuff. It can be washed in the machine even actually at 30 degrees. 30 degrees is like 84, 85 ish Fahrenheit. Um, I actually thought I had even yards measurements. So this ball is three and a half ounces and a 601 yard for those that's interested in those specs. Um, it's also produced by a Camgarn in um, Turkey. So it seems like they are really um, the main producer of this Patia yarns. At least that's what I'm getting so far. So lovely, lovely. And I got four of them. So I'm just gonna show you the remaining four in this lovely bag. I'd like to keep them back. And as I said, I have this idea that I want to make it into a sweater, but I'm just not sure if I have enough in these because I thought of maybe needing to double strand it. But it could also be that I actually don't need to and I can make it as a lighter sweater without double stranding. Um, I will have to look into that. Um, I did put in a note for being notified whenever they get more of this yarn into stock. I'm aware it might be a different colorway, but if you double thread them or double yarn them, then it's less important. Um, I will also have to look if I do choose to double strand them, how it would look. I will probably make a test to watch and see if to get an idea of if it's something I would like to do or not. Um, but it's for far, far out in the future project. But I thought the yarn was absolutely lovely and beautiful. And when I was sitting with it, I'm like, you know, it, yeah. How can I say it? This... It feels really nice and it's actually bigger than I thought it would be, even though I should know that 100 grams has a decent size. But it is gorgeous, isn't it? Quite, quite gorgeous. It does look, smell factory, almost like ice yarns actually, even though this is not ice. No offense, papatia. But it feels lovely. It's very, very scaffable, very friendly. So it's a project I'm really looking forward to working with. Let's see, what do we else have? Because I have lots, lots of things here. I have a box with cakes. These look like all being the same cakes, they wrapped up into the same. Uh, well, not all of the same, but um, I ordered some cakes. It's really snug and tightly. So I will take them out one by one. I got two of each. But the specs are the same for the cakes, even though they don't they don't look the same because they don't start and end on the same place. So I have here Papatia cake, which is an acrylic cake. And here you have how they look. Lovely acrylic cake. That's um three weight yarn which is also the reason why I would say this is probably a four weight because this is thicker. But this is a three weight yarn. It's a colorway 330 and it's the one, as I said, Papatia cake. This cake is 150 grams or 540 meters. That's equally 5.3 ounces or 590 yards and it's 100% acrylic. It's machine washable and you can get some free patterns on the website, which again is the same as I mentioned before. It's Ecotex branded 100, which means it's tested against harmful substances. I actually suspect the same goes for the other yarns here. Um, no, I don't see that. Hmm, interesting. But um, they say that it takes one cake to make a shawl. 
Um, I guess it depends on what type of shawl you're making. Um, four millimeter crochet hook, four millimeter knitting needles. Um, can't be washed at 30 degrees. Lay flat to dry, don't iron, don't tumble dry, don't bleach. That's pretty much it. Um, and here's the scarf. Address specs. We'll have to look into these guys. Um, and I got two of these cakes. This is the other cake. As you can see, it's the exact same colors, but they start and finish at different places. So we have white, we have sage green, we have more like a tealish blue and blues. Two types, two, three types of blue here before it goes back into white. So this was the two of the cakes. The two other cakes are the same yarn specs, just different color lots. So these were 230 and this is 215. Again, these are the same cakes, just different yarn specs. And as you can see here, they also don't start and finish at the same spot because we have the tealish in here, which is more like out here on this one. And here it starts with the gray, where the gray is closer to the end. Um, I can imagine this is the yarn you might want to color control um, to get the best result, basically. Um, so these cakes I paid like two euros 90 or so with the discounts and i do apologize it seems like somebody's of my neighbors is coming home so we're getting a bit of flashlights here from the sun flickering through the doors um but yeah um i would definitely probably color control these yarns um not sure what products to make from them but i just wanted to get some of these cakes um to to show you um what sort of um, acrylic cakes that papatia has so that was cakes and i'm just trying to get 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 and keep track of all this um because it's really all put in randomly to be honest it's it's difficult to keep track i think we'll just really take them one by one as i come to them because the way that it's been packed is yeah they have their own system that's for sure um i got some flower cakes here from yarnart uh, we have yarnart whoops <laughs> yarnart flowers with this absolutely gorgeous cake and i am in love with this one um this is so much better in real life than it is on the picture on the internet goodness i love it i really love it it's so reminding me of the cake that i want to to use for another project even though this is not more like earth tones it's more like red but still this is like a really dark sage green to a lighter green um to this yellow orange and dark red it's it's very similar to to one of my ice cakes, but it's not the same colors. It's not the same colors. I can see that, but they are quite similar. And honestly, this looked looked like a more like gray green on the website. So this is so much nicer in real life. Let's talk about it. This is colorway uh, three hundred and two, and yes, I still think it's gorgeous. Um, and we have, um, let's see, 250 grams. It's a classic yarn art. They do have, as you can see here, it's center pull. Uh, 250 grams gives you a thousand meters of yarn. That's equally 8.8 .8 ounces to, uh, 1093 yards. At, 55% uh, cotton and 45% acrylic. And it's a very lovely, soft yarn to work with. And you can really make so many different types of projects. Most people use these for shawls. Um, shawls, throws, but you can also use them for a summer top, dresses and the like. Um, basically, it's a lovely, extremely likely, lovely, versatile yarn that you can use for so many things, um, depending on what you like. And they give most projects a very gorgeous drape. At least I enjoy um, these uh, yarn art cakes um 
It's considered a fine weight yarn, but I would probably also say it's a two weight, one weight, two weight. So let's just call it lace weight slash fing sport weight, fingering weight. Here we have the thread. You can see here it's one of the places where it's going from orange into this dalga red, which is in the inside. Um, it can be washed at 40 degrees, which is 104 Fahrenheit. It can be ironed, lay flat to dry. Um, they say you need two of these if you want to knit a full sweater, but you have enough if you just want to make a shawl. I can say yes, you have more than enough in one cake to make a shawl from it. Um, they recommend three millimeter crochet hooks or two and a half millimeter knitting needles. I would say crochet hooks you could also easily use a three and a half millimeter or maybe even a four, depending on the project you're making and depending on how much drape you want the project to have or how much air you want between the stitches. But yeah, this cake is freaking gorgeous. And I have another cake, different colorway. So we are on the exact same specs. And this cake is also absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. Sorry for my swearing. I really should not swear, but this is gorgeous. There's like zero discussion here, right? It's rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That's perfect. I should have gotten more of these. I might have to have, be on the lookout for them and get some more, just to have them in stock. I need a bigger yarn room. And I don't even have a yarn room. I need a bigger yarn storage. Or yarn needs to be able to deflate and inflate, depending on when you need it. This is a colorway, 277. If I would give this one a name, I would call this one Rainbow. Like, zero doubts, this is Rainbow. Bright Rainbow. Love it, love it doesn't even have a funky smell it's it's a little bit factory smell but not funky very very lovely soft gets again as i mentioned with other yarn it can make different great drapes this is a gorgeous one i will make a beautiful shawl of the of that one for sure um we have a packing label and yeah, I'm just basically going to keep pulling out yarns. This is the next one. There are two yarns in this pack. And I am going to see if I can somehow keep this pack a little bit close. Because part of it is possible. So I have one more of these Papatia Joyful. So the specs, again, as mentioned before. So this is a colorway 16. Um, they classify this as a fine yarn. I totally disagree. I'm not sure how they get this to be a fine yarn. Um, it's definitely thicker than the other yarns. Um, we are at, um, especially fine two weight yarn with a five millimeter crochet hook. I think they have wrong labeled them. Except for that, we again have 80% acrylic, 20% wool. They can be washed in the machine, but do not wash them then higher than 30 degrees Celsius, which is like these 84, 85 Fahrenheit. Um, and lay flat to dry. And this is just this rainbow coloring ones. Um, I will have more of these coming later. They have not been packed together for some, some reason. I actually bought um, six skeins of these. And they were like less than two euros a skein. So that's like two dollars per hundred grams. Like two dollars per for three and a half ounce skeins. That's, I think, a pretty good steal for a price when you get something that's 20% wool and 80% acrylic. And they feel nice. Like, it's not a scratchy wool at all. This is like a very, very nice wool to touch. And it is a lovely, lovely rainbow colored, um, constantly striping yarn. Um, I do think that the uh, rows of color changes here are too long to do color control. I think this is just, you create a colorful project with this and this is how it is. Um, so I've got six skeins of these, so I should have five more skeins down in the box. I don't know when they come because they have just packed them so randomly together. Um, not really sure what I think about that, but I get that they were challenged apparently getting all these down to one order. And that's just how it is. The next yarn is this gorgeous fella, which is the Papatia Batik Silver. 
And uh, honestly, yes, this is silver. Holy smokes, there are silver flecks in this one. Woohoo! We are on silver mode. Look at this gorgeous fella. I love these different shades of blue into a navy blue black. I would say it's navy blue, actually. I wouldn't actually call this back, like, more like a night sky blue. Love it. Colorway 555-19. Papatia Batik Silver is 100 grams. In this, so this ball is 100 grams. Um, 360 meters, that's equally in US terms, five and a half ounces for a 393 yards. This gives a lightweight three yarn. And again, when this is lightweight three, this isn't fine. It's a four weight. They just misclassified it. Here is how it looks against my finger. And let's talk further about gun specs. 95% acrylics. 5% polyester. Polyester is these lovely um, silver reflex on it. Um, it's machine washable. Uh, it takes two bolts for a scarf, according to this. A crochet hook of four millimeters, three and a half millimeter knitting needles. Um, wash at 30 degrees. Do not iron, do not tumble dry, do not bleach, and do lay flat to dry any projects you should desire to make. They do offer patterns on their website. I haven't checked that out. I will do that later. And um, and we will see if, if yeah, what type of the things they have. I don't see any center pull, but I do see the start here. Um, but I don't see if there is any easy center pull on this. I got four skeins of this, so the remaining four skeins I have here in the bag, I'm not going to pull them out, but yeah, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely midnight, yeah, I would call this midnight sky, yeah, or storm sky maybe, depending, but midnight sky seems more mm, very appropriate, right? But they don't come with color names, so whatever color names is whatever we decide to provide them. Because, you know, if they don't have a color name, I just have to give them my own. Let's see what we else have. We still have so many, so many bags to go through. This is the next bag. Contains cakes and loose balls. And it's also been taped up. And, you know... I'm just going to do them again, one by one, trying to keep track of them. So let's do the Yarnak cake first, because that is the last Yarnak cake I got in this order. This Yarnak cake is also the flowers, and I would almost say they got a different label, because this is the first time I see this label from them, Yarnak flowers. They, you can like see, different labels. And I've had one of these with the other labels, so I wonder if they're getting new labels now. They might, um, which is cool, not a problem. Here we have it. This lovely pink towards light turquoise and dark turquoise is what we have here. The same specs as before, so we are having a fine weight yarn here. They do come with a center pull, easy start tap here. Um, fine yarn, as it's considered super fine, I would still say it's more like a sport weight, lace weight. Not lace weight, um, yeah, sport weight, fingering weight, um, or two. Um, can't be washed at 40 degrees, 104 Fahrenheit, can't be ironed, lay flat to dry, do not tumble dry, do not bleach. Three millimeter crochet hook, as I mentioned before, I could easily do three and a half or four, depending on the project and depending on how much drape I wanted to have. Um, it's color weight 292. 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. Another gorgeous fella, but it seems like they have new um, new brand labels. It's a new one. I don't know if I like it better or not though. It's, it's what this, but it's new. Um, then I have more Papatia yarns. This is, um, these are skeins and this is a Sunday. So Papatia Sunday. Sunday, I remind myself of McDonald's like an ice cream. So these are like ice cream. Isn't this gorgeous? Look here, and we have this brighter blues. 
or not produce. <laughs> Let's try again. Brighter greens going into a darker green, growing back into this lighter minty color before it goes into a light pink and into this very, very powerful pink. Um, I have, what did I get from these? I think I bought five skeins. Yeah, I bought five skeins. There's also five skeins in this bag. And here you can see them in a difference. So they also don't start at the same places of the yarns. Um, they are the same colorway. I do even believe they're probably the same lots. Let me check. Yeah, they're the same lot. So it's just where they end and where they start when they wind them up in these skeins. Um, so let's talk a bit about this yarn. It's um, 50 grams, colorway 3. I'm not really sure what I would call this colorway though. Um, spring blue, maybe? If I could. And I'm lying to you. It's 100 grams. It's a 100 gram skein. This is 100 grams. This is also 100 grams. Look at the difference. It's 100 grams. I thought it was 50 because it felt so small. But when I'm feeling it now weight-wise, yeah, it's probably 100 grams. 100 grams, 320 meters of yarn gives you, also in US terms, 3.5 ounces to 350 yards. It's 100% microfiber acrylic. And this is, of course, due to the microfiber acrylic is why it's so thin. So this is a thin weight yarn and this is also why um i thought it was actually much smaller skein ergotex brand 100 which basically say this yarn meets the human ecological requirements um and are not used within harmful used tested against harmful substances there's nothing of that anywhere machine washable you need three of these to create a scarf they call it a light three. I would call it probably more like a two weight, to be honest, when I compare it, especially if I compare it to the yarn arts. They are very, very close in size. Um, very close in size. Um, yeah, Papatia, Papatia Sunday is these. They recommend two and a half to three millimeter crochet hook. I would probably use three and a half for this one. Um, and that's also why I'm not cons like why I'm wondering why they label this as a light three weight yarn. Don't iron it. Can't be washed at thirty degrees, which is like these eighty four eighty five percent uh eighty four eighty five um Fahrenheit. Yeah. So that's basically for this. And I'm having five of them, so I'm just gonna take all five out of this bag because I have other things in the bag, which is easier when these are taken out, and then I can show you how different they are wound up. But they are all the same colorway. But as you can see, they all show and display these different uh, lovely colors. So that was Papatia Sunday yarn. And it's unfortunately not an ice cream. But even if it was an ice cream, I would still call it like spring bloom. It seems spring and bloomy color. I like them. Lovely neutral. I got some Papatia Agora cakes. And I got a bunch of them actually. Ta ta! Papatia and Gora cake. This is the earthy toned one. And it's a colorway six. And it still says it's made by a Kamgarn in a Turkey. I really need to look into that website. This is a classified uh, one weight yarn. I would probably actually agree with them. They have a centerfold here, even though they don't have an official tab, but there is a centerfold. Weight-wise, they are a slight bit thinner than the flower cakes, I would say. Let's talk about it. Specs here. 200 grams of yarn here. For 1,100 meters of yarn. So that's 7.05 ounces. Gives you 1,202 yards. So this is um, a fine weight yarn. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And it's 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 not a scratchy wool. It's it's an okay. It's a comfy wool. I would say it's a comfy wool. Um, machine washable. One is enough to make a shawl. One is even enough to make a shirt. I guess it depends on what size shirt you use or what pattern you have. They recommend two millimeter crochet hook. I think a two millimeter would make it very compact though. I would probably option for a little bit larger than two millimeter. 
three to three and a half millimeter knitting needles. Um, lay flat to dry, can't be washed up 30 degrees, and it is machine washable, so it is machine washable at least 80 to 45 Fahrenheit. Angora K of the colorway six. I would call this forest, maybe forest green. I love the natural colors of it. Then I have three more cakes. They have the exact same specs, so I'm not gonna repeat the specs for you guys, but we are going to look at it. I have this lovely, again, ocean blue cake kind of thing, or yeah, I would say ocean blue. Um, very light band here, but you have this dark piece and this lighter piece. Um, whoops, again, Papati Angora. This one is the colorway uh, 605. And this does have this tiny factory smoke, but it's there. I have two more of these cakes, different colors again. Um, I have this one, which is the Papatia Angora cake. This reminds me very much of one of the ice yarns I have. So I might have to do a comparison on those yarns. Um, this is like these lovely, um, should we call them mustardy yellow to orange? Um, a bit fall alike colors maybe. Um, Papatia and Gora, same specs as we just had. Um, I'm not really sure what I would call this one. If you have name suggestions, if you had any on mine, put them in the comments down below. And the last one I have, I think I would call this for berry because this reminds me a bit about berries. Lovely peach nude, nude peach purple colors, um, nude pinkish alike. Dusty, maybe? Dusty pink purple? Yeah, we get a bit more better light when I do like this. Slightly different light, but gets you a good idea of how they are. Um, same specs as before. And that's just the different colors here we have. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm having this huge pile right now of, of cakes, and I'm just like stashing it all to the left so right now i'm just happy that i actually have room for it um i have a few more rows of yarn to go so let's take this one this is more of the sunday uh, yarn these are actually all kept in the same bank and i know i have two different types so um i'm going to see if i can do this without ruining the back completely that would actually be nice but it doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Looks like it was already partly broken. The first of them, of this Patia Sunday, which I just had before with this spring, spring flower, or spring bloom, is this. We have light browns, darker browns to uh, shortly pink fox shell like thing before we go back into the deeper red orange um it's a colorway 11 um again the sunday yarn 100 grams so that's three and a half ounces 220 meters equals uh, 350 yards of 100 percent microfiber acrylic um they call it a three-way i still disagree i think it's a two-weight um three balls goes to a shawl um Three to four millimeter knitting uh, crochet hooks, three to four millimeter and ochre stick standard um, branded hundred. So test against harmful substances. So um, I have these few different of them. As you can see, they're all the same, but it's just depending on how they were ending in production and, and wound up on the following skein. So I have five of these. I'm not gonna take out all five. I think they're nicely packed, so I'm trying to keep the packing a bit. I have another five, but of a different colorway, which is this more like rainbow. And I'm just going to see if I can actually get this one on the inside out. See, we have this orange, which is the same you have here, going into a uh, pink, purple, and I would call this a sage green to a darker green to a blue, before we go back into green, orange, a yellow, orange, etc. Um, and I would probably call this one parrot or rainbow. I think I have a few different options of them. Again, I have five of these skeins. They are the exact same specs as we just discussed before. So 
that was i think the last i had from my property sunday i'm just going to order these a little bit back in my package because that was a nice way of keeping track of them so let's do that um lovely yarns so i'm just gonna i don't know where i'm gonna put these i'm just gonna stack try to stack we can discuss how successful my stacking is going when i'm done i'm just having this pile of yarn it's it's a real mess on my table so just i don't know um the next we have is yeah let's take this one because this is one type of yarn this is what i mentioned before um at the very beginning of the video this is the angora um pat patia angora and i'm going to see if i can actually even open this one because it looks like it's still in the original packing almost so i almost feel bad of opening this but i am gonna do it and then i will wrap it up with a piece of tape afterwards Papatia Angora with 100% Merino. Um, they are 100% Merino wool. They are 80% <clears throat> acrylic and 20% Merino, which is 100 grams to three and a half ounces though. And 550 meters gives 601 yards. This is this lovely, lovely, um, I would say white, gray, blue color toned. I got six of these balls. So I have more than enough yarns for some massive huge project like basically um i got 3600 yards of yarn here which is the same as about three kilometers of yarn um of this extremely extremely lovely soft they will make the most gorgeous t-shirt not t-shirt sweater um and i haven't really decided how and what yet i will figure out i might even i might even have somebody make something for me um knit something for me i don't know we will see i think it's lovely i have this big big bag with them and i'm trying to see if i can put them back into the bag because as i said they are in one big bag i'm trying to not take them too much out and it seems to be almost the original so um that was the angora um papati angora that was the last one i had of them i got six skeins and we have a few things left and we're slowly getting closer to being finished with this huge unboxing. And when I'm realizing how long this video is getting, I'm also understanding why this box contains so much yarn. Hmm. A lot of yarn, um, but we are really getting closer to finish. I can tell you that for sure. We have, I think, three or four yarns left um, of different kinds. So let's start with this one. We have a few. Actually, we have this one as well. This was the last six, five skeins of this one, which I mentioned in the very beginning of the video. Um, so the Papatia Joyful, we talked about it a few times. Therefore, I'm not going to repeat the specs once more, but I just wanted to let you show you. I had the other five and they are in this bag. And as you can see, they also started in at different places. So I'm just going to put it back into my bag because I think that's the easiest for all. Um, I got one more of them, which is one last colorway of this Joyful. So let's talk about that one first. And then I think I can probably wrap that one up as well. Um, hopefully. Papatia Joyful and these lovely forest green colors, spring green maybe. I love them. Beautiful. I got just one skein of this. Um, it's a colorway five. Again, one skein because I had the idea I might just make a hat from it. Um, and I wanted to show you the different color options they had to choose between. Um, I didn't get one of all the colorways, but I got three different as you can see here. So that's all the same yarn with the same specs. Um, and this is gorgeous. I could imagine this for a sweater easily, um, or a scarf or throw or plenty of options. Um, 200 grams, 200 meters. So three and a half ounces to 280 yards, eight, 20% uh, wool, 80% acrylics. And yeah, crochet hook is recommended to be the hook five. 
and yeah, Peppertier Joyful, I think they will be good for various things. But let's talk about uh, the next I have, which is another um, Papatia Batik Silver, but in a different colorway. This colorway, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. This is rainbow. As you can see, the, the blue is not bright blue. That's probably the only thing I think is a little bit downside. I would have loved this to be a brighter blue and maybe a brighter green. But I still love these yellow, orange, red, pink, foxia, purple into a deeper purple. And then it would have been nice with a real bit more deeper green and blue. But except for that, I think it's absolutely lovely. I got, what did I get of this? I got four skeins of these. So all four skeins are here. You can also easily see they start and end at different places. So four of these lovely, lovely skeins of Batik Silver from Papatia. And they do remind me of some yarns they have on the ICE website. Um, but yeah, it's the same as the Sunday. Um, but I have lots of yarns that seem similar to yarns you find on other stores or other brands. And some of them, I think, is basically they're all made in the same company or in the same factory. But you don't really know unless you really sit down and compare specs or even have both yarns at your hands. Um, and I might actually go back to the Ice Yarns website and see if I can order some of these. Um for a future yarn haul video and then later make a comparison for you guys. I think you would find it interesting. I know I would for sure. So then we have um, two left. Um, so this has a bit different yarns in them. Um, I am mainly unwrapping um, because I have actually two bags here, but this one is the Papatia Batik. I have six skeins of these. I'm not going to unwrap those because they're nicely in the bag. And I have one here that's not in the bag. Um, and they are the same color. And they look very much like the silver. But the silver is... This is more pastel, I would say. Where this is brighter colors. Um... But this is still equally gorgeous. It's not, they're both gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, but this is a much more pastel colorway of this rainbow. Rainbow, pastel rainbow, maybe a good name for it. Um, the specs for this Papatia Batik is 100 grams, is three and a half ounces, uh, 360 meters is 393 yards, 100% acrylic. It's machine washable, can be washed at 30 degrees. Do not tumble dry, so it is slave flat to dry. Do not iron. Um, they say it's a three weight yarn. Yeah, it's probably a three weight. Yeah. Um, it's a colorway 554 slash 11. Uh, five balls goes to sweater. Um, three and a, three millimeter crochet hooks or four to four and a half millimeter knitting needles. I'm not sure. I think I might do something thicker than three, probably more like a three and a half, four for this. Again, different, different ideas of what to do. Um, yeah. Papatia Batik. This reminds me also of one of the ice yarns. So I am going to scavenge the ice yarn store for seeing if I can actually find them and order some similar yarns and make a comparison for you guys that will be interesting and of course post a video of that for you. I have a two yarns a left um, from Papatia and that's the last two yarns that's making up this a yarn haul video and the first is this Papatia Cartonish Antipil Papatia Cartonish Antipil And it's um, says your anti-pill man-made cotton fiber, even though it's not cotton because it's acrylic. Uh, but it says Papatia Cartonish. It's a brand. This is 100 grams. It's three and a half ounces. 250 meters gives you 
also so it's 100 grams that gives you 250 meters or it's three and a half ounces giving you 273 yards premium acrylic as you can see this is also this rainbow color feel um clear rainbow color feel with uh yellow orange red um i do we have a purple here before it goes into the blue and i would say more like a teal green not a real green green uh, or there might be some real green green under here actually yeah there is some green green it feels i would not say this is a soft acrylic at all um it might have a cotton feel indeed um uh, machine washable can be washed at 30 degrees um do not iron lay flat to dry do not tumble dry they recommend three to four millimeter crochet hook they say it's lightweight yarn and it's ukotex branded hundreds standard hundred so it's tested against harmful substance and this is a colorway 14 and i have a one more of them here and i would probably just call them rainbow if i could give them a name and then they have one left, which is also this um, Papatea Cottonish, 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 Cottonish yarn, which I have here. And this yarn very much reminds me of some yarn I got from Ice not so long ago with about the same specs. So you will get a comparison video of those coming sometime soon here on this channel. Stay tuned for that. Um, so Pat Patia Katanish, the exact same specs as we have before. The only difference is obviously the colorway. This is the colorway eight. If I could call this something, what would I call this? I would probably call it Borealis. Borealis seems like a good name for it. Because it is like Borealis, right? Um, which is um, Northern Lights. Borealis or Northern Lights. I love the colors absolutely gorgeous and yes i will make a comparison of those yarns because they do seem very much alike i think this was it for this time's a yarn haul video i got a bunch of yarns absolutely um i don't think i mentioned price of all of them um but i will link to the platter site here down below so you can go and watch the platter site yourself and they do have a tab where you can tap on english and then you get the whole site translated from bulgarian into english even I cannot speak Bulgarian, so I use the English option. I think the site is easy to navigate and they have a crazy amount of different types of yarns. Um, and I think it was really worth it using this discount code, getting some of all these Papatia yarns. Um, I am not sure if I got all the types, but I got most of them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my quick unboxing, which wasn't that quick in the end because I ended up being much longer than I had personally anticipated. But I really hope that you enjoyed this unboxing video from a platter containing mainly Papatia yarns and a few uh, yarn art cakes. Um, I for sure ensured, uh, enjoyed sharing this one with you guys. And I hope that I will see you again soon in a new video here on this channel. If you like yarn talks, etc., don't forget to give this video a like and follow my channel for more yarn hauls, yarn updates, comparison videos, tutorials, and much more. And it do so usually also have giveaways every two weeks, at least currently I do. So take care. I will enjoy my tea and get all this yarn wrapped up and stashed somewhere in my stash. Take care. Bye.